Over the past two years, I shot portrait photography using the Fujifilm system, whether it's for my family or my friends, or professionally. To do so, I use many lenses, some that I've rented, bought, sold, and bought again after. I don't know if you're like me, but I feel like it's really hard to find the right lens for portrait photography. So in today's video, I wanted to share with you what I consider to be the top three lenses for portrait photography on the Fujifilm system. And before we even start, comment down below what is your favorite lens for portrait photography. Comment it now so that we're sure that you have an unbiased opinion. So first, let's talk about the XF 56mm f1.2. This lens is regarded by many as I'm sure the best lens for portrait photography for the X mount. It has amazing bokeh, great image quality. Its focal length is quite ideal for portrait as it gives you that compression and that separation of the subject in the background while it still allows you to capture some of the environment in your shot. However, the reason why I only put it in number three, and number three is pretty good, don't get me wrong, well, for reliability reasons. The big problem with the XF 56mm f1.2 is its autofocus. Depending on the situation you find yourself in, this lens can be extremely difficult to use. I think it works pretty well with static shots, where you completely control your environment, let's say in studio or in environments that are properly lit where the subject doesn't move too much. But as soon as you start introducing movement in your shot, then this lens kind of fall apart. That being said, whenever it works, honestly, the, the pictures are just great to look at because it's so hard to acquire focus and to have reliable and consistent results with this lens, I put it at number three. One more thing if you are thinking about buying this lens though, don't buy it yet. Fujifilm is to announce a Mark II version of this lens in September. And honestly, this is the lens that I'm the most excited about. If it is like the new lenses that Fujifilm released recently, this could be honestly the best lens in the Fujifilm lineup. All right, so at number two, we have the beautiful 90 mm f2. So imagine the 56 mm f1.2 with a better autofocus, sharper, and more compression. Honestly, all the images that I take with this lens feel like they're magical. This lens is ideal to isolate your subject, reliable, and cannot be praised enough. However, why did I put it number two? Well, it's because I feel like one of its strength, which is its focal length, is also kind of its limitation. If you're working in a limited amount of space, if you're used to work in studios, in tiny streets, the 90mm f2 will not allow you to show your subject within its environment. However, if you know that you're not gonna be limited by the amount of space that you have, or if you have another lens, like the number one on this list, that you can complement with the 90mm f2, I think that this is a no-brainer. You will not be disappointed by this lens and it will produce images that other lenses will not be able to replicate. All right, and at number one, we have the XF 33mm f1.4. So I know that I've talked a lot about this lens in the last year, and I don't think I'm done talking about it. This lens has pretty much great autofocus, great image quality, great versatility, great bokeh also, and will pretty much be your best friend on a portrait shoot. It will allow you to create beautiful images in any environment, and I honestly don't see any argument against it when it comes to portrait photography. And this lens is so versatile that it goes well beyond portrait photography, right? You can use it for many, many genres like street photography, like product photography, and many more. And this kind of make it, in my opinion, a must have for any X mount users. Everywhere I go, I know that if I grab the 33mm f1.4, I will be able to create beautiful images with it. And portrait photography is no exception. So that's it for today. Let me know in the comments if you agree with my list, if you disagree with it. What is your go-to lens for portrait photography? I'm really curious to know what other people are using. So let's continue the conversation in the comments. Thank you for watching today's video. And if you want to know more about the 33mm f1.4, then check out this video right here, where I give you all the information that you need to know before you make a purchase. 